This weekend you'll get a chance to soak up the magic of Carnivalissima, an international carnival packed with loads of rhythm and spice, rumba lessons, still dancing, as well as an opening night masquerade ball. Angelina Jolie or Jennifer Aniston? I would take Jennifer Aniston. The girl next door, huh? Yeah, she's probably dirtier. Ouch. <laughs> okay, okay, so Vegas, a party... I think that was the most honest answer I've ever given. <laughs> We're trying to go there. Here, okay, so partying in Vegas with the boys or uh, cruising the Nile with your sweetheart? Partying in Vegas. You're going to get in trouble for that one. All around the world, uh, what types of sounds and cultural influences did you pick up along your journey and fuse into your own style of music? Well, I think because I was, I was born in Chile. What an honor it must have been for you to compose the music for the Dalai Lama during his visit to Chile. Indeed. I can't even imagine. What was that experience like for you? It's going to be very glamorous. It's going to be a lot of music, a lot of dancing, and of course, a lot of fashion. And in fact, I'm wearing a sari in tribute of the Indian culture. So we're going to see all of this on the green carpet. Mm -hmm. Cuba oh, Gooding hey. Jr. was there. And in fact, he, uh, I chatted I him with him for a Ottawa. bit. Yeah. I got him to do some Bollywood dancing for us. Nice. Hilary really? Swank was there. Wow, She's an Oscar beautiful. winner. Um, so it was, a, as I mentioned, a very interesting combination of East meets West. I'm a huge West. fan of shows like Dan Dancing with the Stars. Absolutely. Every time I see these ladies, I'm like, how do they get that body? So this would be something to do to actually achieve that result. Absolutely. And the point is, you can do these exercises anytime, anywhere. Anytime, anywhere. That's right. Like right now, right here? Right here, right now. Okay, well, so, let's see what you got. Well, one of our own had a chance to rub shoulders with Hollywood's top stars as he reported backstage from the Oscars. Joining us now to tell us about the experience is uh, Toronto Sun's Bruce Kirkland. And I'm looking at him because he's all dressed snazzy, <laughs> coming right from uh, Los Angeles in his lovely tux. Thanks so much for joining us, Bruce. You wanted to see how I look backstage? Here I am. You look you like know? you belong on a red carpet, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you were backstage at the Oscars. What was that experience like for you? Actually, I've done this now many times. It's very frustrating from a work point of view and marvelous from a, you know, a film fan's point of view. It's just terrific to see because you only see winners backstage. You don't see the losers. Oh, so, so nobody comes back there. Someone's happy. Yeah, They're celebrating exactly, back there. Exactly. All right, so who did you get a chance to uh, rub shoulders with? As sunscreen and medication are important items to check off, a visit to your doctor can be a trip saver. Sun Health contributor Dr. Jenny joins me now with more. Morning, Dr. Good Jenny. Good morning. So it's the holiday seasons. A lot of folks are heading on vacation. I just got back from uh, India. Welcome uh, from back. Great, great vacation. Thank you so much. Um, but one thing we need to keep in mind is that it's very easy to get sick. Mm -hmm. I got food poisoning during my trip. And um, I wanted to talk to you about how do we stay safe during our travels. So let's talk about what kind of infections and things that we might be able to pick up. Well, we'll kick off this Saturday in its own fashion with thousands of people beating a path to Queen's Park in celebration of one of the world's oldest and most universal instruments, the drum. Before you leave, do you think you can, you know, drum us into the break? I would like you to try some. Oh, okay, let's go for it, okay? okay. We'll be back with more Canoe Live right after the break. Let's <laughs> hear you do some. <laughs>